I love the comment on here a little bit ago. It was some will never make the game so the quarters can be their games. Um, does since so many more people in the quarterfinals and the age group are doing the exact same events, does that mean it's going to be an extension of the open, if you will, or will the quarters like the difficulty still be the same? Like, that's my biggest question. Yeah. About and it. I think that's a very valid question. It puts a lot more pressure on us for sure to figure out a way that we can bridge both, right? Like it's got to be something that, yeah, if we open it up to more people, it can't just be something that, okay, movement one, workout one, the bottom 15% are like out of luck. Like that's not cool, right? To open it up mm -hmm. and then just have something that's beyond that reach. But to your point, it's also not cool to not recognize that this is a significant qualifier and it has to perform that function. Like that's the primary function that it has to perform, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it does put a lot more pressure on us. But that being said, I think there's plenty of formats that you can do that. And we've seen that in the open many, many times where you have something that starts off pretty vanilla and then a couple rounds in it ramps up and it ramps up. And you have everybody that can start something, but not everybody that can finish it. You know, that's just one example of that. Um, there's all sorts of self-selecting things that you can program in that make that uh, pretty accessible. Something like, you know, we've seen the other total, for example, as part of a, a online qualifier. I mean, you could put one pound on the board for each lift, you know what I mean? But the best are still going to separate. So it, I think it puts a lot more pressure on us to get that balance right. Absolutely. But, um, you know, that's that's what the team is that's our job, right?